a new theoretical study from researchers in the Netherlands, suggests the universe may fade away far sooner than we expected. Their calculations show that even neutron stars, white dwarfs, and black holes slowly lose mass through quantum processes, meaning nothing in the cosmos is truly permanent. It's a subtle shift in our understanding, but one that reshapes the long-term future of the universe. In this video, we will explore what the study found, why it matters, and how it changes the expected timeline of the cosmic end. Let's get started. The study was conducted by a team at Radboud University and focuses on what happens to the densest stellar remnants long after stars have exhausted their fuel. Traditionally, only black holes were believed to undergo long-term mass loss through Hawking radiation. Neutron stars and white dwarfs, although extremely dense, fall short of forming event horizons and were therefore treated as stable endpoints of stellar evolution. The researchers challenged this assumption by examining how quantum fields behave around a compact object solely due to spacetime curvature. To isolate this effect, they built a model consisting of a spherical, constant density star surrounded by vacuum. This simplification removes complications like rotation or magnetic fields and focuses entirely on how strong curvature influences the quantum vacuum. According to quantum field theory, empty space is never completely empty. Virtual particles continuously emerge in pairs, annihilate, and disappear. Near strongly curved spacetime, however, these pairs can separate before annihilation. When this happens, both particles become real and carry away energy. This process is commonly associated with black holes, but the new calculations show it is not exclusive to event horizons. Intense curvature alone is sufficient. With this mechanism in mind, the team estimated how many particles could be produced around neutron stars and white dwarfs. The curvature around these dense remnants provides enough energy to turn a tiny fraction of virtual particles into real ones that escape into space. Each emitted particle removes an equally small portion of the object's mass. The rate of mass loss depends strongly on the object's density. Neutron stars, being far denser, emit energy at a slightly higher rate, while white dwarfs lose mass more slowly. Although the emission is extremely faint, cosmological timescales are vast. Over long enough periods, even tiny, continuous energy loss accumulates. Using these emission rates, the researchers calculated evaporation times. Neutron stars and stellar mass black holes fall within similar timescales. White dwarfs, being less dense, last longer, but not indefinitely. The upper limit for any compact remnant is roughly 10 to the 78th power years, a large number, but dramatically shorter than previous estimates that place the universe's end many orders of magnitude further into the future. This discovery implies that the final era of the cosmos begins earlier than expected driven by the silent but persistent effects of quantum physics in curved space-time. The significance of this study lies in how it redefines the relationship between quantum physics and gravity. Hawking's original insight linked quantum processes to black holes, using the event horizon as the key feature. The new work shows that an event horizon is not necessary. What matters is how sharply space-time is curved around an object. This broadens our understanding of where quantum-driven mass loss can occur. This result strengthens the conceptual bridge between general relativity and quantum field theory. In most circumstances, the two frameworks operate independently. Relativity describes large-scale structure, while quantum physics handles microscopic behavior. Dense stellar remnants fall into the narrow region where both frameworks become relevant. Demonstrating that evaporation arises in these systems provides another example of how quantum effects cannot be ignored when curvature is extreme. Another important contribution of the study is its emphasis on density rather than object type. Black holes, neutron stars, and white dwarfs were traditionally categorized based on whether they formed an event horizon or supported matter through internal pressures. 
the new model places them on a continuum. The evaporation rate is tied to curvature, which is itself tied to density. This reorganizes how astrophysicists think about the long-term behavior of compact objects. The theoretical implications extend further. If all dense remnants eventually lose mass, the universe does not settle into a static configuration of cooling stars and dying black holes. Instead, it evolves continuously, even after all conventional astrophysical processes have ceased. The study provides a baseline model for this universal decay without invoking speculative physics such as proton decay or exotic particle interactions. The research also creates new pathways for understanding quantum gravity. By showing how quantum fields interact with realistic stellar curvature, the study offers a concrete scenario where both theories apply simultaneously. It invites deeper exploration into how rotation, magnetic fields, or more complex matter distributions alter these predictions. Although these additions will make the calculations far more challenging, they represent an important direction for future research. While this is ultimately a theoretical contribution, it refines our picture of the universe's distant future. It also emphasizes a broader scientific point. Even when an object appears stable, quantum processes operating on vast timescales can gradually reshape the cosmic landscape. The study's primary implication concerns the long-term timeline of the universe. Cosmologists once envisioned a distant future, dominated by slowly cooling white dwarfs, and an extended era in which black holes persisted for extraordinarily long periods. The new results revise this picture. Because all compact remnants gradually lose mass, the transition to a cosmos without stable structures occurs much earlier than expected. As neutron stars, white dwarfs, and black holes evaporate, the universe becomes increasingly simple. Over time, the radiation produced by these decay processes spreads out and loses energy as space expands. The final state is not a collection of silent, frozen remnants, but a diffuse bath of low-energy particles filling an ever-growing volume. This does not change the direction of cosmic evolution, but it does change the pace. The study also introduces a unified perspective on the fate of matter. Rather than treating each category of compact remnants separately, the model shows that they all follow the same ultimate trajectory. Once the mass loss becomes significant compared to the object's total energy, evaporation accelerates and the object disappears completely. For the universe as a whole, this means that its final constituents are temporary. Another implication lies in theoretical physics. This work highlights that quantum effects can have meaningful consequences in gravitational environments long after conventional astrophysics has ended. It demonstrates that quantum field theory and curved spacetime is not just a mathematical curiosity, but a framework capable of producing concrete predictions about the universe's future. Looking forward, there are several directions researchers may pursue. One area is to incorporate more realistic stellar properties. Neutron stars rotate rapidly, possess layered interiors, and host extremely strong magnetic fields. These factors influence curvature and may alter evaporation rates. White dwarfs vary in composition and structure, which could also affect predictions. Another direction is to explore whether dark matter participates in similar quantum curvature interactions. If dark matter forms compact objects or dense clumps, it may also experience long-term mass loss, further reshaping the universe's final inventory. A broader open question concerns the early universe. Since curvature was far stronger shortly after the Big Bang, these quantum processes may have played a subtle role during that era as well. Although this is speculative, it offers an intriguing avenue for connecting the universe's beginning with its end through the same physical mechanism. Overall, the study reframes the future of the cosmos as an ongoing, gradual process where quantum physics continues to operate long after stars, galaxies, and black holes have faded. Even the densest cosmic remnants eventually fade. Quantum physics quietly shapes the universe long after everything else ends. Its final chapter may come sooner and more simply than we once thought.